Hey, what's up guys? Tom B with Be Wise Outdoors and here we are at Westport, Washington about to pull our first crab pot. So hopefully we get something. Let's go. All right, what I like to do is just go until we get the, the rope taut and I can feel the crab pot. Then I quickly start pulling it. And that way if there's any crabs sitting on top, which often happens, we call those riders. But we get the pressure on those riders and they stay put until we get it up here. Oh, look at that, guys. Got at least, at least two, two Dungeness in there that look like keepers. So we're going to get this pot open and then we're going to get a measure on them. All right, today's bait of choice. We're using salmon carcasses from, uh, from the salmon we caught this year. And we're also putting a little uh, chicken uh, drumsticks in there and that way the drumsticks just when they get in there they got something to kind of eat on and uh, and they stay occupied all right all right this one's a male so we're good there all right if you come over here and look at the males flip them back over all right the males they come to a point all right if this was a female crab you'd see this wider down here it would almost look like a pear all right but this is a male so we're gonna flip it over and get the measure on it all right I like to hold them from the back stay away from the business end right here all right you see how I'm holding it there that way you don't get pinched in the hand all right if you look at this crab the gauge here see that six inch line I want the crab if it's bigger than that we're good to go so we're gonna measure it on the inside of the carapace right here, one side, and you can obviously see, clearly see, that is larger. All right, so it won't go down. So we got one crab. All right, here's our next guy. He looks to be a little bit bigger than the first one. So we're gonna grab him. And another male, so good to go there. Get him turned around. Get them pulled out. All right, here we go. Again, a male. You see how it comes down to a point? We'll get, oh, here we go. See, it comes to a point there. It's not wide at the base, so we'll flip this over. And we'll actually go for our measuring. So here we go again with the measuring. You wanna make sure there's, sometimes their legs get in the way and they'll give you a false reading. But you can see again, clearly, clearly, this guy is larger than six inches. All right, another way you can do it, if you don't have that, you can take a tape measure and stick it across their backs and estimate, but that's, it's, it's estimating and it's not really a good method. So you definitely wanna get yourself a clam or a crab gauge, one of these crab gauges. All right, so two crabs so far. Uh, this guy, he's probably not gonna be five inches. In the state of Washington, the Dungeness crab, on the ocean have to be six inches and uh, red rock they're five inches across of either sex so you can have male or female but uh, I don't think this guy just looking at him is that size but we'll, we'll, we'll still do the courtesy measure and get him back in the water all right we'll flip him over all right now this guy you can see he's a male also he's got his point is even more pronounced than the last two dungeons see how it comes to a point there We'll flip them over. All right, with these guys, you're going off the last carapace there. And you see, see the five inch mark right here for Washington Red Rock. So we get him in there and you can see we're, we're short, okay? So he's gonna go back in the water and get bigger for next time. For Red Rock in Washington, they're five inches and then you know, Oregon, Washington, California, it just depends on where you're at, but you want to make sure you check your regulations so that you're not uh, harvesting a, a crab that's undersized, okay? Now, one thing to remember, while you're out in the field, you have to retain the shell backs to your crabs. So, uh, you know, just the best thing to do is either when you're done here and you're leaving the beach and all your gear is put up, then you can take it to a place here and clean it, or you can go home and clean it, and I'll show you how to do that later. Hey guys, just wanted to show you the difference between a female and a male. See how much wider this one is? This is a female. You can see both of her 
um, claws at some point have been removed, but that's that's a female Dungeness crab, and she's too small, so she's going to go back. So now we're pulling our pots. We just let them sit an hour. Uh, went to go have some uh, some food for lunch, so we're going to pull the pots and see what we got after another hour. So again, you see the one rider on there. Nothing in the pot. I was kind of expecting that, uh, just simply because the, the tide's outgoing. And it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a minus tide today, so it's going to drop about 12 feet. So when the tide starts moving, the crabs really hunker down. They don't move a lot until, um, until the tide stops moving. The best time to really go crabbing is right around slack time. So about two hours before to two hours after a high tide or low tide is the best. Pulled the second pot and see if we got anything. Again, these have been soaked uh, for an hour while we went to lunch, came back. It's, uh, it's, we're sitting here, it's about two hours after the high tide mark, so the tide is really starting to scoot out. But we're going to check this pot. I'm not really, uh, you know, not expecting a lot, but hopefully there'll be something in there. So let's check it. All right, it looks like we got one red rock. It could be a keeper, so we'll get it out here and, uh, and give it a check. All right, you see this one's a female. Uh, if this was, uh, you see how much wider this is? If this was a male, it would be narrower, uh, just like the other ones that we showed you. Um, we're going to check this one. If it's uh, five inches, we're going to keep it. You can keep either male or female in the red rocks. So, All right, and you can clearly see there's the measurement, and that is a keeper. All right, so another keeper crab, so four crabs for the day. Uh, not too bad. Uh, we again let them soak for about uh, about three hours in total. So here's our catch. Put this one in there, and then we'll get going. And there's the catch. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, share it, and leave your comments down below. Thanks.